So, I was creeping on some other guy's Mars video, and he wasn't doing a bad job, but someone had commented that although they really wanted to believe in their own heart that this was true, that they'd yet to see anything, anywhere, that looked like it could be anything other than a rock. If you truly spend significant time looking at the visual evidence, and I'm not talking about Dracula's coffin or a bus that looks like Obama, but you still see nothing, nothing, then you might need to stop wasting your time. I mean, most of us don't wanna see things that aren't there. I know I don't, and I try to be very careful. Now these images are altered to make it tougher to see anything, but even with that, there's still plenty to easily see. As for this guy and others like him, here's the bad news. You're likely a victim. I'm sorry. Dave, a retired engineer in the UK who spent years working in Africa, asked me, why are people so obsessed with fuzzy rocks when they should be looking at the overall picture of what's going on here? He says that he sees this with an engineering eye and what he sees are the tools of a civilization that was at least as advanced as we are. Now he's one of several to recently suggest this specific area to be one formerly dominated by water and watercraft. On Martian Day 538, the rover Curiosity took some up close and personal images of this area. A reference to this spot, please. Now here's one of those other images and the spot referenced. Now who wants to invest in this magical Martian sand? It makes three dimensional geometric shapes all by itself. We can sell it to Earth kids and make a monstrous Martian mint. Ridiculous. Nobody knows what that is. It's been freaking people out for years. The geometry speaks for itself. This is no accident. Now there's our magic Martian sand again. Hey, can we get a patent on that? Now this is called the dead area of Mars. But is that thing alive? Three words, littered with debris. Now moving to the right, we see this. Now bring up the opening scene to Close Encounters of the Third Kind, you know, where the mother can't find her little boy in the bedroom, and there's a song playing on his record player. So look with care for the shape of a square. Yeah. So somebody help me out here. At first, I thought this thing might be alive, but, you know, it may just be something mechanical in nature. This one, though...
Can you say concrete? Now this is part of it too. Now Mars holds the solar system record for having the most naturally shaped rectangular rocks that protrude from the soil. That's a, another true miracle, folks. This rock sprouted its own rebar. Okay, I might be wrong about this effigy, but using these better images, let's reconstruct him one more time. Yes, I took a few liberties, but I explained why in Planet Mars it's not just a rock. If this is truly an effigy, a statue, then I no longer believe one of his arms is laying in the dirt. That might have been a trick of light. I believe this may represent a winged or cape creature. And if it did represent such a thing, it might look like this. Now that's a big if. But seriously. 